Dick's shop with customers around the world is hit by a thief just weeks after relocating to the tri-state. Yeah, they hadn't even had a chance to officially open before thousands of dollars worth of instruments were stolen from them. Amarella Porter shows us the crime that was all caught on camera. It was just brutal to sit there and watch. In a matter of seconds, thousands of dollars worth of rare instruments ripped off the walls of a new business in downtown Lebanon. A thief breaking in just days before the mandolin store was set to open after relocating from Nashville. Owner Zach Vance says it started with a motion notification at the shop's door. Vance watched helplessly on his phone as a man wearing a ski mask pounds through the glass door. We had a screwdriver and he just popped the glass. Cameras in almost every corner of the shop capture the suspect's every move. You see him come inside the showroom and just start taking instruments off of the walls. You can see the suspect using the flashlight on his phone, getting a better look at the instruments. This is exactly the path he took and he was just doing this number. He snatches four mandolins worth $11,000. Vance doesn't believe the thief knew exactly what he was taking leaving behind instruments worth much more. I think they just happen to stumble upon us somehow, some way. If the thief tries to sell the instruments, he believes they won't be hard to track down. Two were left-handed instruments, which are very rare. The mandolin community is so tight that when someone sees one go up, they will tell us. It's a setback for the business, but Vance is hopeful the suspect will be caught. Things have gotten tough for a lot of people, and so I understand that some people just need to do something to make ends meet, but it, it sucks for the hardworking individuals, especially on, on a family owned business. You know, this is my dad's company. It, it's my company. Someday it'll be my son's company, hopefully. In Lebanon, Morella Porter, Local 12 News. Now Vance tells us the mandolin store is the largest dealer for most of the brands they carry there, selling to customers as far away as Saudi Arabia. They are still going forward with their first appointments in Lebanon this week after increasing security. If you want to learn more about the stolen instruments or the mandolin store itself, go to our Local 12 News app and click this story there.